Good morning to all of you and thank you so much for joining us on this wonderful April morning. I'm Lou Ann Scott, I'm uh, the president of the Moscow Renaissance Fair and I warmly welcome you all, and I mean warmly. We've been in the park now, you know, about 24 hours, and it's warm enough. So before I introduce our beloved royalty, I just want to say thank you to the many volunteers and dedicated planning committee members who keep this fair going strong and free, it's free, year after year. And thanks to the staff at Moscow Parks and Rec, for keeping our park so beautiful and helping us out. Uh, Lake House Sanitation and Moscow Recycling, they have a big part in keeping our fair green. We recycle or compost almost 85% of the trash that we humans generate here. So we've done that more than 10 years now. It's really an accomplishment. And most of all, thanks to all of you who share this special weekend with us, making the hard work worthwhile. All right, so now, as president of the fair, I enjoy being the person who selects the king and queen. It's one of the most fun things about being president. Um, this year, I've chosen a couple who made Moscow their home more than 30 years ago and have contributed to our community in many ways. As you may, you may know them as musicians, or scientists, or activists. They are all these things, but from here on, you will also know them as the royalty of the 43rd annual Moscow Renaissance Fair. So I give you Queen. I give you Queen Jeannie McHale and King Fritz Nor. Let's hear it for our royalty. Well, it's the first, uh, the Saturday of the first weekend in May, and it's 10 o'clock, <laughs> and the hay bales are spread out in front of the Peter Basella stage, being warmed by the butts of some beautiful people. <laughs> it's Ren Fair. It's time to celebrate spring, and music, and art, and food, and dance, and friendship, and just having our own little world here all, all weekend. It's very humbling to be up here, and thank you so much. I mean, what, what do I deserve to be king? Because if I think of some of the people who've stood here at 10 o'clock on the Saturday of the first weekend in May and been, been here, um, but then I see you people and I think, well, it's, it's a lot more fun to think about how much fun you're all going to have this weekend, dancing and eating and meeting up with friends and all that stuff. Now, I'm up here. Uh, I can't thank Lou Ann and the Ren Fair Board and volunteers and people working the food booths. They're just all fantastic. But, indeed, I'm not off duty this weekend, apparently. <laughs> I'm still supposed to do the parade, so you know, whenever I get in somebody's face and I'm on parade duty, I gotta pitch it. 2.30 from the Peter Basoa stage, right here, we got the Porter Highlanders, Celtic Dancers, the Wild Thing, and the Peace Band. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's a great, great, great honor, and I'm just humbled to be up here and really thrilled to see all your faces. Thanks a lot.
Speech gallery. Hang on, I, you know, I'm pretty much um, just contractually obligated to echo all the sentiments of my king, Fritz Snor. But um, I had some ideas that seemed profound the other night. I'll see if they still seem like it now. Because like Fritz said, we're very honored to be among the royalty, thinking of all the dignitaries that have had the honor of doing this in past Renaissance fairs. And I want to say that, uh, that Renaissance fair is like a two-day embrace of spring and of one another. And getting this honor has felt like a warm embrace from the community that we love. And uh, the celebration of spring sometimes in all kinds of weather, it seems impossible, as impossible as the brilliant green of the hills in spring on the Palouse. And yet the hardworking people who've been here for the past 24 hours and, and have been going to meetings for the past year, they, they make it happen. And uh, it's a chance to renew our relationships and also this time of year we think about the ones we love that, that aren't here anymore. But then we celebrate uh, the new babies and the new friendships that have formed in the past year. It's like this is our backyard. The uh, East City Park is Moscow's community backyard. And for these two days, we make this fleeting utopia of music and dance and art and good food. And under I understand this year there's libations as well. And so we have a chance as a community. We get to shape our own culture and our own mythology here at the Renaissance Fair when we celebrate creativity and community uh, with one another. And, um, and King Fritz and I would further like to decree that the weather from here on out will be fine. And we urge everyone to unplug their space heaters, get off the couch, go outside and dance. We are honored and thrilled to welcome everyone to the 43rd Moscow Renaissance Fair. Let there be peace, love, happiness, and prosperity for all. Let the Ren Fair begin.